another best damn podcast in the books and at a high level here's what happened you had another bgst classic clip that we played man that was crazy you also had your boy Neethals not having it about some negative halo infinite talk and last but not least the creator of god of war david jaffe comes on the panel to tell us a thing or two let's get into it What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because you know the deal. I'm not too proud to ask. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> with that said, hey, yo, look. Another fantastic Best Damn Podcast, okay, period. Check it out on Next Gen 720's channel. Links to everything is below. It is a show where we, you know, talk about the latest in gaming news and other news as well. We're going to start covering some social topics as well, but it's mainly focused on gaming. You know what I'm saying? We, we take a, a view of thoughts and comments out there in the gaming streets and we give our spill on those takes. OK, you know what I'm saying? Um, Again, to start it off, classic BGST clip that, you know, was was very side splitting to say the least. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for y'all again. You got to you got to watch the show to check this one out because I don't want to make it unfunny here. Definitely check that one out. Then you had your boy Neethals, you know what I'm saying? Neethals was not digging our prior discussions that we had at the Broadband Bullies about Halo Infinite. Him and Jay Dub went at it over the departure of former Halo Infinite creative director Tim Longo. And Neethals was letting us know that he did his damn homework. And he was letting us know that Tim Longo's demotion and departure was a nothing burger. And you know, Jay Dub's with his effery. <laughs> you know, everything Xbox related is doom and gloom. You know, so he was giving his spill. Very entertaining back and forth between them, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, definitely check that out. And you let us know is Tim Longo's uh, demotion and departure a nothing burger? You know what I'm saying? You listen and you decide. But last but not least, but last but not least, I'm so excited. I can't even talk straight. The issue, <laughs> the issue of the moment. And the man of the hour, David Jaffe, came on the panel. Now, l l let me just provide a slight background on why he even came on. David came on because there was a lot of whoop to do about comments that he made on a podcast that he runs. He has a YouTube channel. And on that podcast, he was talking about how, you know, Xbox just really didn't show up for the party. You know what I mean? And he used a little bit of satire that involved uh, the adaptive controller and one of the kids showcased uh, during the rollout of the adaptive controller. And a lot of people in the Xbox community were up in arms. David went on a couple of other podcasts to talk about it and it was all attack, attack, attack. You know what I mean? For the most part. Um, but we decided that despite the community reaction, we attempted to do something different from everyone else. We let the man come on the panel, speak his piece, and then we all collectively gave our thoughts and had a, a pleasant back and forth. And we even went to, into some behind the scenes stuff with his tenure working with Sony, man. It was, and you'd be surprised. All right. Again, I don't want to give away the whole show here. You know what I mean? Y'all definitely want to listen to it and get your take on it, okay? Don't take it from MM2K. But you will be surprised on his actual thoughts of Xbox, on his actual praise of certain initiatives and things like that. It's completely different from what they cast on this man in the gaming community in light of his satire. So you definitely want to listen to the show for that. But at a high level, here's just a clip of, of what he has to think about all this, this, this crazy foolery. These are grown men and some women that take this shit that seriously. Not not the fact of somebody saying somebody's making fun of a disabled kid. If I had done that, I would be raising pitchforks against me because I would never attack a kid. I would certainly never attack a kid who's disabled or a disabled person for their disability. Um, but since that's not what I did, I'm left to sort of just be stunned that it's like, holy shit, you guys, not you guys on the podcast, yeah. but in terms of there are people out there that really take this quote console war thing to heart. I'm my mind is fucking blown, dude. I thought we were just shooting the shit, taking the piss, having a good time. They're just fucking video games. I'm stunned. These are 
so with that said people check out the show get the real deal don't listen to the idiot herd out here get everything in totality then you can make an educated and well-rounded decision about what's really going on but with that said that's a high level look at the show to get the details and get the whole kit and caboodle definitely check out the show the best damn podcast right now via the links below and don't forget to catch us on next gen 720's channel every sunday 7 30 p.m eastern standard time link sub and rock those bells while you're there and also do it here if you could be so kind and with that said you guys all have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace